Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different Well YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, just manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee it's surely coming to you all for sure. If this is your first, second, third time or more, welcome, happy to have you guys and welcome back. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different World and you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learning, you, girl, you guys, uh, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business. Third Eye Entertainment LLC, which we are a business that tries to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain you guys all at once. So again, first, second, third, or more, it don't matter. Hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? So today is Tuesday, you guys. On Tuesdays, we drop our social awareness content, and being that it's Women's History Month, I think it's none befitting than other we have uh, a dedication to Women's History Month and spreading social awareness as to how it got started and to where we are here now, uh, here now today's time. Uh, and so I'm very excited about this, you guys. Um, last year, I did uh, one in dedication to all the women that I thought were, you know, uh, inspirational in my life and that I looked up to growing up, including my mother. And in fact, I want to take this time to dedicate this vlog to her uh, in, in honor of Women's History Month. She is one of the most, if not the only, strongest women I know uh, that, that has walked this earth. She's no longer here with us, but during her 51 years of um, being on this earth, man, she weathered the storm like no other. You know, doing 17 years on a dialysis machine every Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, three to four hours out of the day getting poked with two to three needles, man. That That's a that's a strong woman for you, man. And I, I, I'm glad she fought to the end until she couldn't fight no more. I learned so much from her. She taught me how it is and where you, how you can't keep a good woman down no matter how what life throws at you, the strife, the struggles, the trials, the tribulations, she kept going to the end. And I'm proud of her for that and I love her for that. And I will always honor her and, and represent for my mama, you know, as best as I can in any chance that I get. I don't give a damn who don't like hearing it, who tired of hearing it. I'm a represent for Rochelle Raynette Schenneberg, wherever I go. And so this one is for you, Ma. I love you. Um, and so with that being said, you guys, Going in, let's talk about how uh, Women's History Month got started. It actually is stemmed from women's suffrage movement back in the 1800s. Um, well, I'm jumping a little ahead of myself. Um, us women, you know, uh, the female species, we started to find our voice with the women's suffrage movement, uh, with our right to vote. Uh, back in the day, women didn't have a voice and we didn't have a right to be heard and we had to fight for that right. And uh, that until, you know, coming from um, with women like Susan B. Anthony, she, you know, pioneered or was one of the pioneers with the women's suffrage rights and, and uh, our movement, if you will, and just working towards, you know, and fighting for equality for women. Um, at the time, it was only white women, <laughs> but um, they fought for, you know, women's right. And uh, eventually, you know, once blacks and minor minorities were allowed to vote, then of course, black women came into the role where we voted and had our voices heard. Um, but in any case, um, th there were so many women that came before, you know, like I said, Susan B. Anthony, Abigail Adams, uh, Sir Journey Truth, Harriet Tubman, and of course my mother, <laughs> never forget that one. Um, but um, what started the history, uh, the women's history, uh, it, it stemmed from uh, a place in Sonoma, California, a school in Sonoma, California that uh, the students were taken back by the women's suffrage movement. And so they started writing these real, real woman essays. And over time, the city and the county and other schools started to catch on to this and started doing it uh, every year around March. And in 1980, President Jimmy Carter um, uh, officially pushed for Women's History Week. It was only one week. And then uh, seven years later in 1987, uh, officially Congress passed Women's History Month. And so uh, that's how it came to be uh, celebrating uh, all that women have, you know, brought forth in society, you know, uh, with our intelligence, you know, our labor, you know, uh, even taking care of the home. Uh, there's so much that, you know, women have contributed 
all while you know facing adversity and trying to break the glass ceiling and still doing so in today's society and so um, we've come so far but yet we have so far to go uh, when it comes to women's rights um, for those out there you know in this time we're going through a, a movement called the Me Too those that's living on the rock uh, with the Me Too movement it's just us women you know speaking up and stepping up and speaking out and against sexual harassment in the workplace um, that is something that you know a lot of women including myself have experienced in the workplace and um, unfortunately it still goes on in today's society but talking about these issues and pushing for change and and, and stealing you know harder uh, um, consequences for those that violates women's rights is, is uh, what we are pushing for today and so that's the point of like I said when we have these conversations as you know often swept under the rug or turned a blind eye to that's where we can see you know systemic change um, also you guys I also want to um, a decipher from between Women's History Month and International Women's Day. It's a total difference, you guys. Women's History Month is a celebration that is done in uh, North America for 30 days in the month of March, celebrating uh, all uh, the hard work and all the accomplishments women over time in history have done. International Women's Day is only for one day, and it's March 8th. And it's included for women all over the world, no matter the color, the creed, uh, sexual orientation, uh, gender preference, we are celebrated all. And so that's the difference between Women's History Month and International Women's Day, which by the way is tomorrow. <laughs> so happy International Women's Day, you guys. Um, what else? Uh, like I said, when it comes to like talking, motivation, and social awareness, I believe you need to hear from more than one person. So check out this cool video I found from US Today. Uh, this is a short clip, just two minutes, you know, just talking about basically what I said, but better uh, in regards to Women's History Month and how it got started and where we are today. So here it is. Check it out. And once we're done, I'll come back on and tell you a little bit more about what's going on in Difference Well, Yeah, check it out. Women have been shaping human history since the dawn of civilization, but it's the month of March that was chosen to honor women throughout history. Here's why. The origin story of Women's History Month is up for debate, but it was born right here in the U.S. during the suffrage movement, when women were fighting for the right to vote. Some historians say that its roots can be traced back to a protest on March 8, 1857. It was then that a group of women from New York City textile factories allegedly staged a strike over poor working conditions. But scholars argue that this demonstration was fabricated, suggesting that the strike was invented retroactively to give the annual celebration a more compelling backstory. At first, women's history was only observed for one day. The Socialist Party of America first declared National Women's Day in 1909 and made the women's rights movement, but the idea quickly spread around the globe. The idea of an International Women's Day was proposed and approved in 1910 at the International Conference of Working Women in Copenhagen, which we now celebrate every year on March 8th. Fast forward to the 1970s in Sonoma County, California, where a group of people were fed up that women's history was being left out of the classroom. The first Women's History Week was celebrated in March 1978, culminating with a parade in downtown Santa Rosa, California. This local celebration turned into a movement. Activists pushed to make this week official, and it worked. In 1980, President Carter issued the first presidential proclamation, declaring the second week of March as National Women's History Week. And that momentum kept growing. In 1987, Congress officially declared March as National Women's History Month. A special presidential proclamation is issued each year which honors the extraordinary achievements of women in America. But more than 30 years later, the fight for gender equality continues. In 2020, for every dollar a man made, women made 82 cents. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news. Alrighty guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed it like I did watching that uh, uh, video by US Today. I think they titled it Women's History Month. 
how I was born and how it is observed in March. And so it gives you the information on how uh, it got started and why it's observed in March. And so if you guys liked uh, that video, be sure to check them out, US Today, USA Today, as well as definitely if you liked my video in regards to talking about Women's History Month and the topic that I'm bringing today, you can be sure by showing me by liking, sharing, comment, and definitely you guys don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, like I said, in, in, in regards to Women's History Month, um, and, and just sending an overall message to every woman out there that's listening and watching this and just reminding you ladies out there that you are all queens and you have crowns on your head and don't ever let anybody tell you different or try to knock it off. And at times, if it may, you know, sit cricket, you can always straighten it up. That means just reminding yourself who you are and your self-worth. Um, at, back in the day, I'm so proud of myself. Looking back on, you know, who I was in the past, um, I was a woman that was afraid to tell people no, especially men. I was afraid, you know, they wouldn't like me. You know, I always felt like, you know, they asked me for something, I had to give it to them, including with money and or whatever. And so once I started to find my voice and started to use it and started telling these fools no <laughs> and moving on, that's when I found out my strength and realized who I was and knowing that, you know, as a woman, it's our duty and it's our right to learn how to tell people no and not to be afraid to tell a man no and to know when to move on when it's time. That's our God-given right and it's our God-given duty as women on this earth to respect ourselves and to not take any BS or bullshit. Fuck it. We don't, we don't be real. Like I said, different world, you come and learn. This is what, what you see is what you get. So don't take any bullshit from nobody, including, you know, from yourself. You know, at times we beat ourselves up so others don't have to do it. But don't do nobody else's job for them. You know, you already have enough on your plate. Just fighting that battle and going through and being a boss chick that you are. So hold your head up and keep it up and keep going. No matter what you're going through in life, you will get through it. Because why? You can't, no matter what they throw at you, they can't keep a good woman down. Okay? And so I uh, close out. I hope you guys, again, liked my vlog in regards to Women History Month. You guys can show it by liking, sharing, comment, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, you guys. Also, be sure to check me out on my, my uh, in, excuse me, my website, differenceworld.net. You can check out my other social media handles, my Instagram, Twitter, as well as my TikTok, and of course, YouTube. Also, you can book me for any motivational speaking events you'd like me to be a part of or grassroots conversations. I am free of charge. As of now, you would just need to go to my website and book me there. Also, lastly, you guys, on the Difference World Agenda, don't forget, go to my website and cop my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Definitely all the women out there support your girl on <laughs> the small uh, women's uh, uh, business like myself. Uh, again, my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is a book that's written to encourage and inform uh, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, you guys, be advised that this is intended for a mature audience. This is sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Just get you a little flyer blanket. You'll be okay. Because the point of this book is to push for, you know, that conversations don't need to be had that's often swept under the rug. It is my opinion and my belief that when we talk about these issues constantly and, and, and come up with ways to, to create systemic change, and that is where we can start to see it. And so that is why <laughs> I've written the book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. So be sure to go to my website and get your copy, you guys. Yeah? Thanks. All right, you guys, moving right along with it. Uh, what else we got going on in Difference World? Tomorrow's Wednesday, uh, International Wednesday, but we do on Wednesdays, you guys. We know if you hit that notification bell, you know on Wednesdays we do our podcast content. And so I may or may not be dropping uh, um, a podcast interview. Um, I, I'm trying to do all women's podcasts. So that's what I'm looking for, all my my ladies' podcasts that I've done in the past. And so uh, be on the lookout for that, you guys. Again, that's why you got to hit that notification bell. And so when I drop the content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? Uh, okay, so what else we got going on? I think that's pretty much it on the agenda. But lastly and importantly, uh, in regards to what we do here at Third Eye Entertainment in Difference World, when we push for our mental health awareness and awareness, uh, let's go ahead and do our mental health check time, you guys. Um, this is one of the most important segments in our uh, 
my my show or my episodes or whatever you want to call it in regards to you know advocating and, and pushing for those out there that's going through mental anguish like me uh, for those out there to be you know depression suicidal thoughts you know even being bullied or having anxiety attacks please understand and know that it is okay to not be okay but do not and, and never ever sit there and not be okay go get help whatever the case may be for you be it talking with a family member talking with a therapist getting on you know medication uh, picking up a hobby you know mending broken bridges cut people off whatever the case may be that helps you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you do it if you or if you know anybody that may need these mental health resources please feel free to share it with them the crisis hotline is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or text 741-741 for those that would prefer, for, excuse me, prefer, <laughs> prefer to go online, you can visit mentalhealthishealth.us or 988lifeline.org. Or for those that are outside of the U.S. and that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can visit mcounseling.com. Again, mcounseling is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And again, remember you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, it is on you to do your own research and your own homework and find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you are the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Nobody else. And also remember, whatever trial and tribulation that you may be going through in life, this too shall pass and you are not alone. So do not go off the deep end. It's not worth it. Okay? And so, drawing back to the positive side of the difference world, you guys, I'm not saying that the mental health is a negative, but it is a more serious and somber topic to talk about. So, I always like to end it on a positive note and positive energy, you guys. Uh, definitely just bringing it back to my topic today, talking about Women's History Month and just reminding all the queens out there to stand up and be proud of who you are and your womanliness and uh, protect your queendom at all costs. And let no other person, you know, take that away from you. And just remind you, remember, you have a crown on your head and you're rocking it oh so well. And so, uh, with that being said, you guys, don't forget, like, share, comment, and definitely, you guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. I see my call to action is finally starting to work because some of you guys finally are hitting that subscribe button for you girls. So I do appreciate it. Uh, also, and lastly, don't forget, whatever it is life that you guys are believing you're destined for, you got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and then it will surely come to you guys. Difference will come and learn. Peace. What if? What if, in 1619, Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.